Hi, welcome to Tech Tips. I'm Stephen from Pyramid IT and this week we're going to show you how to use your letterhead into Word. The first method I'm going to show you is to insert it as an image. So you go to insert at the top, pictures, select your letterhead. The ideal dimensions for this are 795 by 1124. That's the size of an A4 page. Now it goes in, it is re restrained by the margins of the page. So you need to go to the top here, make sure you've got the wee moving arrows and drag it, this one to the left and do the same for the right hand margin. And again, you'll need to do it for both the top and bottom margins. Once you've done that, you will make you probably need to rescale the image, so you just drag that corner to the bottom corner, and there you have the image on the back of Word. The only problem is if you go and try and type in this, it starts up a new page. And the way you get around this is to right click on the image, go to wrap text, and select behind text. And here you'll be able to start typing. If like me you've got a large banner at the top, you'll just need to press enter a few times to get to the right area so you can start typing. You're then able to save these documents either as document, as word files or even as PDFs. And here's a PDF I had earlier on. Scale this to 100% and this is what it looks like in someone else's computer one and you can start typing down here. I have had issues in the past where I tried to save this and the uh, image messed up and it was, it was almost like a block and for that reason this is not my preferred method. Instead I prefer to insert it as a watermark and to do that we go to design. First of all, I'm actually going to change my margins here because I know for a fact, because of that big large banner, I need to move that down further. Go to watermark, custom watermark, select picture. From here, you'll say you want to browse from a file. Select your image again and click insert. Here's the important part, you don't want it to be washed out, you want it to be a normal colour. And the scale you want to be 100%. Assuming you've got the right dimensions, this will make it a full page. Hit OK. Because I've moved my uh, what my borders, I need to drag this up a wee bit. Just double click and then drag it up and close the header and footer. And you'll see it all here. I know this sh shows has been washed out, but if we see this and go to file, save as, browse, go to here, save it as a PDF. And and if you open this PDF, you'll see the background is full colour and not faded out as it shows in the document. I hope you find this useful and as more offices move to paper free solution, I find this adds a little bit of professionalism and makes you stand out when sending documents over to another company. I hope you find this useful. If, if you do, please hit subscribe or like and ring that bell for notifications when we do more videos. Thanks, bye!